Hey everyone, it's day four of the 21 day fast. Um, I hope everyone's doing good, um, that we're going strong. I feel like we've been a couple of days into this fast. Um, and so right now it's time to get intentional with it that I feel like the very first day is like you're all excited, there's zeal. Um, and around this time is when you can kind of start coming back into your normal routines of things. But I would really encourage like, let's be intentional with this fast. Like let's start meditating on his word. Let's start fasting and praying um, and not just going through the motions on this. Like the Lord has something in this fast for us and especially on day four. Um, the two passages that we're in really today is Psalms 119 and John 4. And I feel like the emphasis uh, today is on God's word. Like the Lord um, puts so much importance on his word. Um, and to get in it and to meditate on it. And like in Psalms 119, um, which is the longest chapter of the Bible, it's all about the importance of his word, meditating on his law, delighting in his precepts. Like the entire thing is about it. Um, and I feel like fasting and praying is awesome, but adding in the word, like there's so much foundational stuff that we need in the word. And as uh, the bride of Christ, we have to love his word. Um, so I would encourage on top of your fasting and your praying during these 21 days, if you haven't started a plan, if you haven't started a reading plan or um, getting into your Bible on a consistent basis, like I would really encourage you to do it. There's so much power in it. One of the verses that really stuck out to me in Psalms 119 is verse 129. It says, your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your word gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. I feel like during a fast, we're really inclining our ear to the Lord and saying, Lord, that we're stripping away all these things. We're dying to flesh. Like we want to hear you. We want to hear you more clearly. Um, and no better way to do it than getting into his word. And the word sheds light. It talks another passage in the scripture uh, in this chapter is about the, the word is the lamp unto our feet. That in these times when we're seeking the Lord, that we're stripping away things that we're trying to um, like just die to self and walk more spirit, walk more in faith, that uh, the word truly is the lamp. Um, and then uh, another thing just in John 4 is the other passage. This is on like the woman at the well. Um, I feel like whenever I read this passage, I always go to the woman at the well. But another part really stuck out to me. And it's in verse 32. And the disciples are getting Jesus something to eat. And he refuses the food and says, no, I don't need to eat. I have food to eat that you do not know about. And at this point, he's not talking about real food. He's talking about the food of the word. He's talking about that we have good manna. Um, and so during this time, whatever you're fasting food wise, like truly the word is the manna that we have good bread today. So I would just encourage just to get into your word, see what the Lord is speaking, seeing what the spirit is revealing to you. Um, yeah, let's go strong. Let me pray for us today. Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your word that we have good manna, that we have good bread in your word. Thank you. I thank you that we can just, um, that we can dive into your word, Lord, that we can, that you reveal parts of you that we haven't yet seen, Lord. I thank you just for the importance of the, of the word, Lord, that you're instilling it apart our hearts, Lord, that we delight in your law, that we love your precepts, Jesus. And we thank you that today that we can just truly dive in, Lord, that we can, we can stand upon your word, Lord, that we have good manna and we thank you in Jesus name. Bye.